Hey guys, it's Andre back with another tutorial video and this time we're going to show you how to download, install and set up emulator on a PC. The first thing you're going to do is go to the smithsandmartin.com website and you're going to download the touchscreen driver for Windows. You're also going to download the emulator FT software. And while you're here, you can also download the Emulator Pro software if you wish to make your own templates. If you want to use the 4DEC version of Emulator, you'll have to get the Tractor 4DEX template from the Tools and Surface template section. You can also check out the online manual by clicking the link here. Now that we have everything downloaded, we're going to go ahead and install Emulator FT version 1.6.1 for Tractor Pro. This is the software you want to install if you are going to use the pre-made tractor template. You can also install Emulator Pro if you wish to make your own templates. If you want to use the 4DEC template for Tractor, go ahead and install Emulator Modular Tractor 4DEX template. And of course, if you're using the big DVS touchscreen, you will need to install the Emulator DVS version 4.1205 touchscreen driver. Two programs will be installed with this, the multi-touch platform and the actual touchscreen driver. Once you have that all done and installed, you can go ahead and restart the computer. Okay, so now we have our emulator programs installed. At this point, you should make sure that your tractor software is also installed. We can begin setting up our programs but first let's make sure that our computer resolution is set to 1280 by 800 to correctly output the image to the projector of the DVS once you're in 1280 by 800 you will want to make sure you extend the desktop display to 1 and 2 if your computer is not capable of reproducing 1280 by 800 to the computer's monitor you may need to shut off the computer's monitor and force your display to the VGA device or the Optoma projector. So once you have Tractor installed you can go ahead and run the software and we're going to first of all set up our sound card. Now depending on what sound card you have you will need the appropriate driver from the manufacturer. In our case, we're using the Audio 2 DJ. So we're just going to select it from the drop down menu in Audio Setup and Audio Devices. And once we connect our sound card to the computer, it should recognize it. And there it is. The next step will be to import the TSI file, which is a tractor settings file. So click on the Import button 
at the bottom of the preferences window and if you do not see this here it probably means you have the tractor LE edition of the software you're going to want to make sure you're using tractor pro so once you have tractor pro you can click on import and we're going to navigate to your C drive program files x86 down to the Smithson Martin folder emulator FT 1.6.1 and there's the TSI file for emulator you can just double click that leave all of these check marked the way they are and click on OK you will probably notice tractors layout has changed a bit and that's because of the settings that were created to make sure that tractor aligns properly and is MIDI mapped with emulator next thing you will want to do is just check your output routing if you're using the audio 2 sound card you will want to set your output master on channel A left and channel A right and your monitor to your channel B left and your channel B right. Next you will go down to the controller manager and make sure that your import is changed to MIDI from emulator so that Tractor can accept MIDI controls from the emulator software. Once you have that checked, you can go ahead and close the preferences window of Tractor and just minimize Tractor in the background. You can now run Emulator FT and you will notice that Emulator MIDI Out has been pre-selected as your MIDI output so do not change that. Now you can minimize Emulator and we will set up our DVS touchscreen. You will want to first of all make sure that the touchscreen is plugged into a power source and then plug it into the computer with your USB cable and you can run the multi-touch platform and if everything is okay you will notice the serial number of your touchscreen in this section here. If you do not see this Please make sure that the power cable and USB cables are firmly connected to the computer and the touchscreen. Once everything is up and running here, just make sure that your Tuyo support, Flash Tuyo support, nightclub mode, log touch data are enabled, and the last checkbox here is optional. You can calibrate your touchscreen by pressing on the calibrate button. And if you move over to the DVS touchscreen, you can press the four crosshairs and calibrate the screen. If you ever find that the DVS touchscreen is not responding like it should, you can always go to the utility section and diagnose the touchscreen. All green check marks with a score of 1453 or close mean you have a good touchscreen. You can also reset the touchscreen data by pressing the reset touchscreen data button. You only need to do that if there's some unexpected errors with the touchscreen that should normally solve your problems. And there you are, you're all set to use Emulator FT on your DVS system.